Welcome back to Sweetwater Diaries channel. Um, I took a break last week just because one, I wanted a break. Two, we finally had sunny weather and a couple days in a row so we wanted to get our garden going so I kind of wanted to focus on that. So anyway, I'm back here and I just wanted to give you a quick intro on our garden. We are, we have our hay bales down and we planted our starters and we put in seeds as well. And we are hoping to have a great garden, hoping this goes well. Um, we've done in the past it's worked, but we were doing it in a different area, so we're just going to see how it goes. I'll be watering these soon. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting. We put in some of the starters here in our hay bales, and then some of them are just seeds. And we have a whole area set up, and we're really looking forward to it. This video will kind of show you the process of setting up this garden. So we hope you enjoy. So, as you can see, we are setting up our hay bale garden. We're trying this formation this year and we'll see how that works and then if we don't like it we'll change it. But we've already pulled out uh, 48 bales and we've been letting them sit. We put some soil, fertilized soil on top, just naturally fertilized from our goats and chickens that we we pile up over here throughout the year. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark right now. And that just like ferments over the years and then you can see it's great right here. It's just nice soil right down here. And we go ahead and I'll take some of that and I put it on top of the bales. And then we get lots of rain this time of year. So we just let the rain kind of do its stuff. A lot of people will have to water, but we just get enough rain that just make sure that they have the soil on top and they will start to do their magic here. So we kind of had to have them set up. You can see, oh, they're nice. And set up here and we have our plants already started as I, if you saw in our other, other video. And so we set these up today. We're going to kind of just see if this is how we want them and then start planning on what we're going to go ahead and put in this place. And we might have some other little spots where I'll put uh, some potatoes using the hay and, and the soil, but I'll actually use like a um, make like a potato cage for it and then probably plant some corn and somewhere you know in some of these empty spots on the ground and let that kind of be on the outside edge is kind of an extra protection but we'll put some fencing up then we can set up some sprinklers if we want in here just to water but like I said we get a decent amount of rain right now so we'll be good for a while and yeah so this is the start of our hay bale gardening and we're pretty excited What's also nice is we have really clay clay ground. I know a lot of people have that problem where there's a lot of clay in the ground. So by doing this, we don't have to deal with trying to dig up the dirt and then put in the right amount of fertilizer and all the nutrients we need. So we can just get it all through this hay bale and it keeps it warm. And yeah, it works really, really well. So we will keep you posted and let you know what's growing really well and what's not. Obviously, once I plant, start planting stuff, certain certain plants are going to need more tending than others. So we'll, I'll film again and I will show you that. Uh, so we're setting up more of our hay bale garden. Um, sorry, the tractor's behind me being a little off. We're going to try this type of potato thing. We're hoping that this metal mesh isn't too thin in between. But we saw one on YouTube that was really cool. So they put hay on the outside, and then you put soil in there. And then I'll go ahead and put the potatoes in there. And then you just leave it this height, and when they start to grow, then you cover it up more. And then hopefully they'll grow. So we're going to see how it goes without cutting it up. It's all trial and error based on what we've done before and what we want to try now. So this may or may not work. And if it doesn't work, we'll let you know. And if it does, uh, I'll let you know if you have tips go ahead and put them in the comments below we're gonna see how this works and again they're store-bought ones so i don't know how viable they are as far as reproducing some store-bought stuff will grow and some just won't so kind of depends so now what i'll do is i'll go get some more soil cover them up and then if i start to see actual vines i'll let the vining grow and then once the vines grow i'll actually cover them up again and hopefully we'll get a bunch of sweet potatoes we'll see Fingers crossed. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm getting some of our nice uh, topsoil here that we have pretty much cooked up from our hay bale pile and poop pile and all that. So we're gonna put that on here like this. I'll go and I'll put them on all the tops of the bales and kind of like 
take the shovel and then wedge it in too just to get in there and then soon we'll be ready to start transplant i'm going to double check weather make sure we don't have any big any more freezes coming and then we'll plant those he's working on getting our tall tall t posts because we have some six foot uh, chain link and we got then we so we're going to go ahead and use that here just to keep it nice and tall keep deer out here comes nate with his little rig he set up on the case so that we can put the t posts and I gotta go and just help hold them straight for them. covered we've planted seeds I'll be watering them soon we bought them yesterday and we have all the fencing up we have a couple of dirt piles in case we need to add some dirt um, and some of her like pumpkins are over there and yeah so we have everything set up we have some of our starters planted that we started that we're growing and we're pretty excited about it so this is our little hay bale garden in the works all fenced in and we'll keep you posted as we go how well it works for us all right hope you enjoy take care and we'll see you next soon say hulk smash hulk smash <laughs>